the Devin Haney era is now. It's the big gun. You know, you got a lot of other fake channels and fake reporters and spin doctors creating all these other narratives, and they say everything except let's fight. Yeah, 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 for sure. Um, so let me ask you this. Removing Devin from the equation, right? Tio, Shakur, Tank, if all three of them fought each other in, in a tournament, who do you think would come out on top? I don't think they fight each other in the tournament. If, if they did, let's just say they did. I don't know. I would. I can't. I can't speak on the hypothetical like that, um, unless that they're about to fight or unless they're trying to fight. The one thing that I haven't heard them guys. I I don't even hear, hear them talking about fighting each other. You know what I mean? They don't. No, they don't. Huh? They yeah, don't. they don't. So so they don't deserve my mention if they're not talking about it. And their fans and their fans are scared to. Uh, put the onus on them, you know, put the responsibility on them to make those fights. That's why I said that it's a Devin Haney era, and he's the real guy that's standing up, you know, that's not taking on any friends in the sport. Uh, the only friend and loyalty he has is to the fans, the ones that's paying the bills. True. Um, do you think, and I, you've probably asked, been asked this stuff a thousand times, so know, bear with me. Wait, wait, hold on, Marco. I knew, I knew Big Fendi. The guy that was over here that had the weave on yesterday, he was wearing the wig. He's back talking about Diddy again. They seem to have Diddy on their mind a lot. Um, do you think that those are guys are they're actually in the closet and are actually looking for other people to talk to? What do you think that is about the whole fascination with Puff Daddy, P. Diddy, and boxing right now? I didn't know it's weird, huh? that. I didn't know. I didn't know the boxing fans are, are fascinated with, with with that whole strange situation. No, it's a, it's just a select group. Uh, one being the fat guy Fetty that had the the wig on yesterday, and he seems to be running a whole group. Him and Method Boxing. Are you familiar with Method Boxing? Uh, uh, South Method Boxing, formerly known oh. as South Park TV. Oh. Yeah, but he's, yeah, 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 I know who that is. He has a real negative. Yeah, I know that. No, he's, he's – now tell me, if he was at – if you were at – if he showed up, he showed up to your kid's daycare and he was out in front of there, would you not be a little bit concerned? Yeah, man, I don't – yeah, I don't – yeah, I don't so, – yeah. Well, I have, a, I have a couple – you know, I have a couple of the, the – meth, the, uh, what are meth head dope is called? They're just dope fiends too, just meth – the meth heads, huh? Yeah, the meth heads, the tweakers. Yeah, the tweakers. We have a few of the, the tweakers. We have a few of the tweakers that uh, watch his channel that seem to come back or come around here. And uh, Fat Boy Fatty is one. But go ahead with the, uh, with the <laughs> what you're saying. <laughs> God, you no, threw me off. Come on. No, no, but for real, you done been around. You know how meth heads have those fingers, how he has those fingers, and then he wears the hat inside all the time, and then he got stuff. You got those jaw bones where you see the back of his jaw and you see the thing. And then nobody is ever around but him inside there. You know, he's just in there it's like just a, tweaking. It's like a classic police sketch. Yes, a police sketch of a tweaker. Anytime you have a TV missing or you have a, a <laughs> you have something, a, a car break in or something, up pops his picture and says, is this the guy right here? But, <laughs> but go ahead back with the interview, though. Got you. Um, oh, I was going to ask you about Ryan. How, how much of what Ryan's doing do you think is, is to promote? And how much of it do you think is really little? Um, you know what? I think that Ryan, um, Ryan the fighter, right, um, is working. Right? You know what I mean? Uh, he raised his hand for the fight. Um, we respect that. Any, any fighter that raised their hand and is actually going through with it. Um, but suddenly he turned into an activist or um, – I don't know what you would call it. You know what I mean? Uh, he's an influencer, I know, but he's not a very good influencer, activist, TikToker. Not as good as he is a fighter. We're preparing for Ryan Garcia, the fighter that Devin has had a 3-3 with, and um, I think that this has all just been a ploy uh, for him to uh, to try to get us off of our, our game, game plan. I don't think he's really uh, – I don't think he's really very good at, at the uh, distraction game, the, the distraction game. So you, so you think he's trying to throw you guys off, make you guys Absolutely. maybe think he's crazy? Absolutely. That's the only shot he has 
is that if we come in and underestimate him and think that he's uh, crazy or think that he's anything like that, which we don't. You don't. Which we don't. No, we don't. We know that he's not crazy. <clears throat> uh, yeah, I mean, he's a... Uh... He's scared. You know, he, he, he's scared. He's scared. Rightfully so. When you're in there with a fighter that's like Devin, once you say that you're gonna fight him, but ultimately putting together that game plan, and you see none of this stuff started until after the face-off with Devin. So right. you know that that'll show. That'll show. But I mean, everybody that gets in the ring, they some will be extremely uh, braggadocious towards him, and they'll they'll use that as their their kind of um, put wind under their sails or whatever, right? And then you have this Ryan Garcia who tried a new approach, um, you know, and I, and I don't, he's all over the place. Yeah. 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 No, he is. He's absolutely. Um, okay. So, so I, I predict that Devin's going to outbox Ryan. I think most of the boxing public predict that. Um, the question is, and I know you don't probably like thinking about going past the Ryan fight, but I'll ask anyway. What do you want to do next? Is there somebody that you want? Is there a path that you want to take next after this fight? Um, you, know, you know what? The, the, the path is to the Mount Rushmore of boxing. Devin being considered the best in boxing, number one pound for pound. I think that that's our, our next, you know, our next goal. I, I think he might be seven or six or seven on the, on the list. Uh, but, you know, that, that list is subjective, so I don't think we'll ever be 100% happy with it. But, I mean, it's just one more solidification that, of, of who Devin Haney is after Ryan Garcia. And when he comes out the ring and he's willing to fight and go in there with and make the biggest and the best fights happen, um, then, you know, uh, that'll be an attest to who he is. Of course, at the top of the top of the list, I mean, if I went out on a limb and said someone, it would have to be the ultimate grudge match between us and the Lopez, it's Tiffimo Lopez. Mm. Okay, okay. Okay. Yeah, I mean, and Tio's one of those guys where, you know, when he Tank, comes in. Because, let me tell you why. Because Tank and them ain't going to do nothing. They going they got uh, Kenny one flip, uh, you know, uh, what we call him? One flip Kenny. We just, <laughs> coin, oh, coin flip Kenny. That's who his name is. <laughs> coin flip Kenny over there at the uh, Lies podcast. Um, you know, they're not going to want to take the fight. They don't want to do shit. They're over there faking, playing, and, uh, you know. Well, I spoke to Kenny. I spoke to Kenny. You break. Uh, you can up. You there? No, is that me? Oh, you're breaking up a little bit. No, uh, I'm here. I spoke to Kenny recently, and uh, he told me that they probably don't want to go to 40. That they're more comfortable at 35. He even said that if anything, they could probably make 30. Yeah. I, well, listen. It says anything. He says everything when Dev. You know when the possibilities. Or for them to fight. Um, I think he said that he entertained a Conor Ben. He called Eddie Eddie uh, Eddie Hearn to make that fight. And uh, was he serious or was he not serious about that? According to uh, Coin Flip Kenny. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, and yeah, I mean, it's a lot of different kind of perspectives because they have he has two coaches, right? And each of them are their own person. They have different perspectives, so we don't know. Yeah. So chance is that. Um, I don't know. Who knows? Yeah. Who knows? Yeah. W what do you think about Subriel Matias? Uh, Subriel Matias is a good fighter, one-handed fighter, you know what I mean? Uh, but, you know, nevertheless, he's a good fighter. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and now, of course, we got the, the newly crowned champ, Pitbull. Pitbull. Well, what do you think about his, his victory? Yeah, Pitbull, is a, he's a... He's a good fighter as well. You know what I mean? I believe that all those are, are state-busy fights and Devin's, uh, you know, quest to the Mount Rushmore boxing. Mm-hmm. So do you see Devin trying to unify in, in at 140, or what do you see for him? Oh, absolutely. Okay. And, and, and But there's nobody specifically that you want to go for next, just whatever happens? Well, I just said that, that Teofimo Lopez, for me, um, is at the top of the, the list. Tears, tears at the top. Okay. Okay. Um, so, Devin, how tall is Devin? Is he about 5'10", five, 5'9"? Five, yeah, he's about 5'9", five, 5'10", five, something like that, 5'9". Okay, so relatively tall for his weight. What's the heaviest weight that you see him going at? Um, I 
maybe fifty-four. Okay, so okay, because so of the all, skill set. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, yeah. He, has a certain, because he has a certain skill set. And fifty-four right now is is one of the deepest divisions in boxing, wouldn't you say? You there? It's one of the deep. I don't see that happening for some time right now. Right, right. He's going to take his time here at 40 and then probably go to 47 soon. Yes. Okay, okay. Um, so what do you think about, about that sparring between Tank and Dev being leaked out? Um, well, I mean, it's not actually sparring. It was a highlight film. You know that, right? Right, tank, yeah. Say again. What do you think was the point of that being leaked out? Um, I think that you know it was once again a distraction. Um, but at at the same time, it's a prom it's a promotion, um, to try to promote Tank Davis as being something that you know, whatever. Hmm. And that was Floyd leaked that out, right? Yeah. That was Floyd that leaked it out. Hold on. Go ahead. Keep talking. I can hear you. Okay. And so when Floyd leaked that, I mean, that that's kind of violates the, the codes of, like, you know, what happens in the gym stays in the gym, right? Uh, I don't think he's ever – I don't think he's ever worried about violating any codes in boxing or anything like that. Um, I think what they say is – it's whatever they want to do, whenever they want to do it, and the people don't have no problem dealing with it because they're used to being, um, you know, used to being under a dictatorship like that. I mean, most most of the times, it takes more guts and more courage to step out and challenge um, the position of those that have been running the game instead of just swimming with it. And um, a lot of the fish that swim along, you know, with the current are upset because all right, all right, King. They're upset because we we go against it, and just like um, Big Fatty or 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 South um, South Methhead TV, they're not doing anything in their own lives with their own kids uh, or themselves. You see that they don't they don't have anything going on, so they tend to want to just jump and um, think that it's easier that you're going to roll with Floyd and you're going to get something out of it. You know, free tickets or, or free something, or autograph. I don't know. A sweaty headband or something like that you know what i mean but actually going to the history books for something that that you've done you know what i mean or being known yeah. or remembered for that and you know getting behind and being behind um your loved one whether it's your son whether it's your dad whether it's you know your daughter or whatever that's what i represent period yeah yeah no i mean that's yeah, you're doing a great job raising the kid, you know. Um, he's, uh, he's respectful at the, at the press conferences. It's, you know, I like it. Um, the, the weird thing about that sparring, too, was, like, we heard Adrian Broner talk about it, and he was like, oh, you know, Dev was out on his feet. I had to jump in and save him. But when you see the video, he clearly wasn't out on his feet. And he was, clearly. what, about No, clearly he wasn't out sparring? on his feet. Yeah, clearly he wasn't out on his and feet. He, then you have, got, you have guys like... You know, Fanon Nakan, who comes out and says, you know, he creates narratives because he has a channel. Or he's a a, a, a disbarred lawyer, and um, so he used the narratives and used talking points to create um, bullshit, right? Because the thing was that Adrian Broner, the question was, was he out on his feet, and why did you get in there, right? And that was clearly that he wasn't. He got out the ring. Um, just like I said that he did, and they kept back smart. Um, so, you know, it's just all a bunch of bullshit, you know what I mean? Um, yeah. But, you yeah. know, I'm here for all of them. You know that, Mark. You know, you know, you know I'm going at all of them, brother. I know you. you I don't know, know who these mean? people are that you're going at, yeah. but you're definitely no, no, going <laughs> No, no. Well, that's Fanon Nakan. He's a bald-headed gentleman on there on Fanon TV, and he was talking about when um, when Henry Garcia called me nappy-head, right? Ooh. Now, here's a guy. Now, here's a guy that who wants to talk about nappy head, right? Whether or not hair is nappy. And you got more hair than him. Uh, uh, <laughs> you got more hair than him. He, 
I'm at all. So I don't think he should be talking about nappy. But you know what to go to that is? Hair is not nappy. There's no hair. There's not happy nappy hair. My daughter told me yesterday, she said, Dad, your hair is core, what was it? Uh, course three? Fuck, I forgot the name of it. Forgot what she said. It was something three or something. I, somebody maybe in the chat can help me. It's something. Uh, coil three. Co coil three or something <laughs> like that. But it's different. It's different style and textures of hair. Not nappy. So Henry was wrong for saying that my hair is nappy and he got on a toupee. Yeah, well, I mean, you, you said that first and that seemed to strike a nerve. So he tried to get back at you. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, I would, I'm so, listen, I'm so... I would try to get back at me too if, if you know, if somebody busted me out that I had a toupee. Uh, yeah, I mean, shit. Um, I'm surprised more people didn't kind of get at him for saying that to you. Like, you didn't hear that much backlash about it. I thought more people were going to get upset at that. Oh, listen, man, we as the people, right? Um, I'm telling you, we as a people, we need we need help. You know what I'm saying? But that's okay, though. I'm here, and I got my chest out, chin up, ready to go. I don't need nobody to come on and, and champion or help me with Henry Garcia. I'll take care of him myself. Do you have, like, before you guys signed this fight, were you guys cool? Like, with Henry, with Ryan, was there, like, or was it just whatever? You just saw each other at fights uh, coming up. Oh, no. I'm, no, listen. I'm, I'm good with I'm good with Henry. I'm good with everybody. I just got, I just got, you know, things to get off my chest like they got things to get off their chest. You know, um, he has his, he has his opinion. I have my opinion. On April the 20th, uh, it will be decided in the ring who has the better fighter on that night. Do you, what's your prediction? If, if you do predictions, how do you, how do you see the fight going? Uh, Ryan Garcia bloodied and battered stoppage definitely Ooh, okay because you know devin devin's punch placement the, the the traps that he sets um very smart very you know he, i saw a melly, lot of let me say let me say something to melly on here melly the only place you live is on the internet i'll be at the boxing gym later on today watching devin and the rest of fighters whip some ass you live on the internet that's the only place you live melly Damn. You and Fat Boy Fatty. You and Method Head TV. Mr. But not, yeah, yeah, Mr. Butthurt. Fat Head, fat head Fatty with his old last ceiling fan, his screen door, and his miserable life who continue to follow me. But I continue to give you guys an example on here. Go ahead. Go ahead, Marco. I don't even know what I was saying. I don't even <laughs> I don't no, remember to, what I was No, we have to just segue and all that because, you know, like I said, they really, that's what you're going to get. You get a real father, you come over, because that's how my dad was. You come over there with your bullshit. My dad going to roast that shit out of you. Yeah, right there in front of his house, in front of his door. He going to drive down, he going to drive down the street. He say, boy, if you don't get your ass off the street and pull your pants up. You know, I come from that kind of, that kind of era. I don't come from no trolls you keyboard warrior sitting there talking shit and you ain't did nothing pop on here instead of talking about me tell me what you done did in life just tap it right there and say bill in comparison to what you're doing look what i'm doing and get diddy off your mind yeah i don't know i, I don't even I don't, I don't even know exactly what happened with diddy i didn't follow it fully i know we did some questionable things but i don't even yeah, I don't. I don't know either, man. I don't know what the hell's going on with him or the rest of them. But they have a they have a particular fascination with Diddy. Uh, yeah, I guess so. I have no idea. Um, you don't look so, like you, you. don't look like you do anything with women, uh, uh, Big Fatty. You look like a woman. You look like an auntie, an old ass auntie. You just shave off your mustache. You look like an auntie that just got off a of church, that left the cheese line. That listen. That knits teeth from the block. That's what you look like, an old ass auntie. That's what you look like, Fatty. You don't look like a woman with 
fuck with you under no circumstances. Your voice squeaks like a woman. You were smoking cigarettes like a stressed out 